Hi guys, it's Dominique coming at you, showing you my video tutorial of how I achieve my two strand twist out guides, and it's super, super simple. Um, my hair is already um, damp and um, detangled, so I just uh, co-washed it, and um, I'm going to show you how I do this really quick. What you're going to need, in case your hair dries up, I do have my spritz bottle with the water and peppermint oil, as well as my moisturizing water-based um, styler. I'm using the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. And what I mean by moisture water-based, guys, is that the first ingredient is water. <laughs> okay? And then I'm going to seal with my O Natural Natty Butter, which holds the moisture in, guys. So, um, just quick note, when you're using a, when you're trying to hydrate your hair, you want to make sure you use a water-based moisturizer first. Water is one of the best emollients to use. An emollient is just a moisturizer, okay? It's one of the best. The problem is water evaporates very quickly, so you have to seal it in with something, some other type of emollient. So that's why I'm using my water-based moisturizer, and then I'm sealing it in with a um, with my Natty Butter, which has all the wonderful emollients in it. And it's an anti-humectant, which is great. Um, so, real quick, guys, I'm going to take about this much hair, and that's about an inch, guys, and they're going to vary all over the head. I don't have a tape measure that I wrap around my hair and say, okay, this is like an inch and a half, and this is an inch. I don't do all that, okay? It's just I kind of feel how much hair I need, and I work with it. I'm going to take about this much of my deep treatment mask. It's going to vary per head, guys. The way you can tell if your hair is hydrated, I'm going to show you because I really saturate it in. I listen, okay? And what I mean by that is that when you can hear your hair make a crunch sound, it's not hydrated. When you, you moisturize it and saturate it in until you don't hear it anymore, like right now I can't hear my hair. And then I take some of my Natty Butter and seal it in over that. And as you can see, guys, I really, see how the shine is coming through? The shine is really coming through. Once I work that in and I can't hear my hair talking to me anymore, I go ahead and I twist. And voila, there you go, one is done. I take a little bit more of my Natty Butter and put it on the ends, guys. I'm going to do another guy here. And my hair absorbs water really quickly, so I have to use my spray bottle to dampen it again. You can do this on dry hair too, guys, especially since you have a water-based moisturizer, okay? And again, until I can't hear my hair anymore, I go ahead and, once I can't hear my hair anymore, I go ahead and start retwisting. And guys, this is exactly what you want to do when you're rocking an old twist out for a few days. When you retwist, you want to hydrate the hair again. If you put um, oils on dry hair, oils or butters on dry hair, you're basically just putting it on your hair and it's just sitting on top. We've been so accustomed to just slapping grease on our hair and thinking it's moisturizing, moisturizing because it's given the illusion that it's shiny. Well, it might be for that day and then, you know, you have a greasy mess the next day. There's a fine line between moisturized and greasy. You should... You should be able to feel the difference, guys. Learn how to really feel your hair and know the difference between moisturized and greasy, okay? And let me go back to that point I was making. When you put oils on top of dry hair, the, the molecules in oils are too large to penetrate the, um, the hair follicles. So basically, it's just sitting on top. So you, it's, it will now feel greasy and you're not going to be satisfied because it just, it, it kind of looks dry and it feels greasy. So you're going to be upset. So make sure you hydrate it first. Anytime you retwist, guys, our hair is just naturally dry. The reason being is because every, let me, let me just say this. Everyone's hair produces the same amount of oil, whether you have straight hair, wavy hair, curly hair, kinky hair, it doesn't matter. It produces the same amount of oil. The difference is the reason why straight hair looks shinier is because the hair is straight. So the oils have an easier time flowing down the hair follicle. Whereas when the hair is curly, it doesn't get to the tip of the hair. So we have to help it along and put some ingredients in it to help it look moisturized 
and feel moisturized and look shiny. That's the only difference. There, it doesn't mean that your hair doesn't produce oil. It doesn't mean it's just that the oils get trapped at a certain spot. They they don't have time to really travel down the hair follicle. So we have to help it along. Okay, that's the only difference. So there you have it, guys. This is to, this is how I do my twist. And again, I don't measure. I just kind of know how to feel. It's repetition. I know how to feel and and see how much. Usually I have this all pinned back, but I wanted to do this really quick. Um, to show you guys and once I finish twisting my hair I'm going to come back and take it down and show you guys what exactly I do when I take my hair down and that's it guys hopefully this will be like a really easy quick um, two strand twist well not quick I know it's not quick to twist <laughs> a whole head of hair but it shouldn't be that major now guys if you want your roots um, more defined you can put a bobby pin on the tip of your roots Okay, I don't because I like my twist outs to be bushier, but you can put a bobby pin on the on the tip. And that's it, guys. I'm going to come back at you when I have a fully twisted head of hair and do the takedown so you guys can see it. And I'll see you in a moment. Hi, guys. It's Dominique coming back at you with a full twisted head of hair. So I'm going to come in so you guys can actually see the twist and how large and I don't know really how many. I never count, so I don't know. Um, but that's just so you guys can kind of see it. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of my Natty Butter to take the twist down. And that is going to help minimize frizz. So, as you saw on my earlier video when I was twisting up, I used it to seal in the moisture. And now I'm going to use a little bit to take it down to unravel my twist. So, I take, I mean, a very, very little, little, little. Rub it in and just... Saturate it in and just pop. pop. When it's like pop goes the weasel everywhere. And I'll do like three or four with that little bit of natty butter that I have, and then I'll re up, get a little bit more, start again. And it's so simple. <laughs> and as you can see, the twists are really defined, really bouncy, really soft. And depending on how bushy or not you want it, you can unravel more than once. Just guys, make sure you have some type of moisturizer on your hand when you're unraveling more than once. Um, when you're unraveling, period, you just want to make sure you have some type of, um, especially in this hot weather, you want to have some type of anti-humectant on your hand when you're actually unraveling. Anti-humectants can be uh, coconut oil, you've got shea butter is really good, the unrefined raw shea butter, mango butter is excellent, um, castor oil can be... Um, an anti-humectant. Some humectants, some just some ideas of some humectants are like glycerin, even the veggie glycerin guys. So if you have a product that has glycerin in it, be sure that you are following up with an anti-humectant. Okay. Hey guys. No, that's not all of them. They're hiding in there. Swinging around and hiding. <laughs> Somebody just tweeted me. My phone just tweeted. I'm getting tweeted on my Twitter account. And that's it, guys. Then once I have untwisted, I take a little bit of my Natty Oil, or you can make your own oil blend, guys. You can use uh, jojoba, argan. I love those type of oils. Um, you can use grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, um, avocado oil. And that's what I mean for the after sheen. And that's what gives my hair the sheen that you see 
So not only is it moisturized, but it also has a nice after sheen, which is excellent. And the curls should still be bouncy. Because no matter what, guys, no matter what products you use, kinky, curly, wavy hair is going to be drier than straight hair simply because of the texture. It takes the oils a lot more time to get to the to the root of the hair, or I'm sorry, to the ends of the hair. So with straight hair, the oils are able to penetrate down the hair follicle easier. With curly or kinky or coilier hair, it doesn't have such an easy time getting down to the tip of the hair, which makes our hair look drier. It appears drier. So we have to help it out and give it some moisture. That's why. It doesn't mean it's any worse or any whatever. You just have to add some things, some emollients to give it some shine. And there I have bouncy curl. And there's no frizz. So that's why I was saying when I've had the question, um, well, I've unraveled more than one, so it caused a lot of frizz. And I'm like, are you putting something on your hand when you're taking them down so you can minimize that frizz? Okay. For example, there. I'll unravel more than once. And there you have it. And then after day two, day three, um, I won't retwist for a couple of days. It'll be like really, really bushy, which is what I like. On day one, it's pretty, t it's pretty tamed, I guess is the word that I'm calling it. And I mean, I could sit here and play with it and fluff it out some more. Sometimes I don't want to. Sometimes I do. Just depends. <laughs> Booyah. And there you have it, guys. Just a nice, perfect, coily twist out with excellent shine, excellent moisture, excellent movement. Again, if your hair is not moving, you've got too much. Freeze it at once. Too much. Take it out. <laughs> take a paper towel. Take an old t-shirt. Get it down. Let's get it out. Don't use a towel. Towels will drink all the moisture from your hair, so try not to use them. And then, like I said, you can add the oil as much as you want or as little as you want to get the shine that you want. As long as you're moisturizing your hair properly, you shouldn't have the greasy effect. Um, greasiness usually comes from hair that hasn't had any type of water-based moisturizer applied to it first and they just put um, like a butter or an oil on top of it. I just want to reiterate when you use oils on hair that has not been saturated with some type of water or water-based moisturizer then you're going to get oils and butters that sit on top of the hair. That's just what it is. Um, the molecules that are in the butters and oils are too large to penetrate the hair shaft so it's not it's just going to sit there. It's just sitting there. And like I said, guys, you can retwist to get the definition, or if you want it bushier with a little bit of curl definition, then don't retwist it, but make sure you do cover it at night. Um, and you can cover it at night, or you can sleep on a satin pillow. I do either or. And that's it, guys. That is my two-strand twist out. I've had so many requests in regards to how I achieve it. That's it. It's it's simple. It's easy, and it's fun. It's wonder. It's it is my go-to style, guys. So, um, hit me on my blog if you have any questions at www.allthingsonatural.blogspot.com, or you can hit me up on Facebook on my fan page at allthingsonatural.com. I'm sorry. All things au natural. If you're on Facebook, it, there is no .com. What am I talking about? What are you talking about? So, guys, here's another tutorial. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. And until next time, a bientôt.